Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm filming the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250, but let's take a look underneath the hood here of the GLB. I showed you guys this engine once more before in the GLA that I reviewed about a month ago. This makes 221 horses and 258 pound-feet of torque. It's paired with an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission. Mercedes replaced that seven-speed dual-clutch with this eight-speed. This rides on the same uh, platform as the A-Class, so it's a front-wheel drive uh, system here, but you can go, Mercedes does give you the options to go for their formatic all-wheel drive system, which is around two thousand dollars. If you're looking to get the best zero to sixty, Mercedes says zero to sixty with the all-wheel drive model is six point six seconds. But since my tester has the front-wheel drive as standard, zero to sixty in six point nine seconds, and as the GLB sits, it weighs around thirty-seven hundred pounds. Fuel economy, really quick, is rated at twenty-three in the city, thirty on the highway, and twenty-six combined. So it does get really good fuel economy. But shedding the hood here of the GLB. My test is painted in this denim exterior color. These headlights here are gonna be full LED and they're gonna be standard equipment with an LED turn signal and LED daytime running light with an automatic low and high beam with an LED fault lights here, lower part of your bumper. There's some silver and painted trim here in the front fascia. I like the grill here with the mesh like finish. But overall, I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section, what do you guys think about the GLB? Looking at the side profile of the GLB, the starting with these tires here, these are a Pro Contact Continental. These are a 235. 50 width tie. The wrapped in is 19 inch room design. I like the silver and black finish that you get here with four disc brakes. It does have some cladding here. It wouldn't be an SUV without the cladding. Silver painted trim. Got the lower part of your door panels. That's an LED side marker here. My tester is missing the panoramic sunroof. There is aluminum uh, roof rails at the top. The wheel base for the GLB here is 112.1 inches with an overall length of 182.4. The GLA is going to be 10 inches shorter compared to the GLB and this is two inches shorter compared to the GLC so if you're looking for that tweeny vehicle or that vehicle that's right in the middle the GLB will be a better choice so at the rear of the GLB looking here at the rear of the GLB there's your GLB 250 bash your three points of Mercedes emblem this rear wiper to keep the rear glass clean these tail lights are going to be a full LED design an LED turn signal an LED reverse light with an LED brake light looking down here there's this metal painted trim or silver painted trim so you won't scuff up the actual bumper here a stand-up backup camera with LED lights for your tag Looking down here, lower part of your bumper, there is dual tip exhaust with some silver painted trim. This reflector is integrated into the bumper. Open up the cargo here. Mercedes does give you a power lift gate. My tester has the optional three row, which is 850 bucks, which honestly I would recommend if you have smaller kids because I'm five foot eight. And honestly, I sat back there before I started testing and it's not a pleasant seating. So this thing is really reserved for kids. But once you fold down on this third row here, once you have an optional, Mercedes says you get around 22 cubic feet of space. Once you fold down all the seats here, you get around 62 cubic feet of space. So that's more than more cargo compared to the Audi Q3 and the BMW X2. Inside the interior of the GLB 250, but looking at this interior, of course, it's a nice interior because it's a Mercedes Benz, but shutting the door here, the door sounds nice and solid. The materials have this soft touch material with this nice stitching, three level heated seats. Surprisingly, the Mercedes didn't offer cool seats here on my tester. I think it's about a $500 to a $750 charge. There's two person room seats here with this nice texture looking material here. Your seat controls are gonna be here as well. Nice metal door handle. It is one touch up, one touch down for all four windows. You can power fold the mirrors in with the click of a button there. As you guys can see, the mirrors will electrically fold in. And to unfold it, you can click this button right here. Your electronic parking brake, headlight controls, dimmer switch is going to be there. Your tender signal stock, and one of the is going to be integrated into one. Looking here at the MBUX system, you can say things like, Hey Mercedes. How may I help you? I'm a little cold. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to 61 degrees. As you can see she could do different things for you I'm looking at the steering wheel is nice leather up steering wheel you have your voice command controls here your phone controls up here as well as your uh, cruise controls here you have this back button here but you can also customize this uh, cluster here you can go to different things like this you can show what's playing on your radio you also have a digital clock your speedometer there and to customize the screen here really quick as you guys can see here, you can just press this back button here in the steering wheel. You can also show different things like your trip, your radio, your media, your display, your uh, designs here. For example, I'm in classic, you can put this thing into a sport. It changes the font to a darkish gray with the yellow font here. As you guys can see, I'm going to put my phone in the accelerator. You guys can see the RPMs would jump. You have this nice red uh, needle there showing the yellow background there. But I like the MBUX system here. I'll, I'll put it on your dashboard. It's going to be a nice soft touch ejection mode of plastic there's this uh, rear view mirror here especially there's a digital rear view camera mirror 
um, and then if your Mercedes might offer that if they don't offer that already there's a sunglass holder here LED, you just click this button up here shows you different things like that there's your SOS button I like this beige interior it's really nice beige interior and down here there's additional storage and cup holders these seats are really comfortable you have this thigh extender here just in case you need some more support for your thighs down here there is some storage down here which my phone is down there there's a USB-C here a 12 volt nice uh, cup holders here with um, these little buttons you can click this and you just can see it will tighten up if you have a smaller uh, cup or whatnot it will hold it in place still and to close the back you just click it you guys hear that nice clip let me show you guys the key fob here really quick this is the same Mercedes keys that I showed you guys before there's a lock unlock a panic button and for the uh, trunk release back there there's a dynamic mode here which shows you eco comfort sport and individual I'll show you guys that in the driving impressions there's this blink button here not sure what that is you guys can see you guys can click this this is for the active braking assist attention assist and blind spot monitoring so this does come safe this does come standard with some mercedes uh safety systems here there's this trackpad as well just in case you don't want to touch this uh, screen here you can uh, touch this um uh, trackpad here this swiping your finger left or right you show different things once you go here to apple carplay this app this does have apple carplay android auto as standard going here to the apple maps you guys can see clear nice resolution uh here uh, going back out here the system is real nice and snappy but the screen is so small i'm surprised it didn't take up the whole 10 uh, inch display here so mercedes should definitely work on that i know in the other models it does take up the whole entire screen with the apple carplay there's more of that nice looking material that i like a lot N nice aluminum trim here the glove box here is damped it's not lined with felt really big uh glove box here shutting that back the seats in here are comfortable they hold you in place they're not aggressively bolstered or anything but they're really comfortable mercedes does some really nice seats i like the way they look as well i like this beige interior looking down here center console has this double hinge uh, opening here there's a usb c in here and it's lined with felt as well shutting that back you also rest your wrist so you can uh, swipe through this trackpad like this like i mentioned you could just swipe through this just in case you don't want to touch the screen but let's hop into the second and third row and i did the driving impression first i didn't know my tester didn't have the actual third row option so yeah i know that i said that my tester didn't actually have the third row option but it really did and i thought that you can only get the third row option with the black interior only but you can get it with the beige interior that my test has which is the third row is around 850 bucks like i said in the video so unfortunately i know you guys are going to hear me say that in the driving impressions but my tester does actually have the three row configuration so hop into the back seat here of the glb my tesla has this nice beige interior we're shutting the door here the door sounds nice and solid the materials do continue from the front to the back nice stitching nice soft touch materials even on the door panel here this is aluminum door handle a nice grab handle here some additional storage with cup holders two uh cargo mat pockets back here where air vents a little con uh, apartment here for to put some storage and whatnot there's a 115 household outlet back here as well with two usb ports the floor back here is not flat, but you can definitely fit three people across. And Mercedes will give you the function to slide these seats forward and back to accommodate someone in that third row back there. But this car is really small, but I'm going to hop back there really quick and show you guys the actual leg room space back there. But you can slide the seat forward and back. And Mercedes does give you this lever here to access the third row or to give yourself a slight reclining function here. My tester is missing the panoramic sunroof. The lighting in here is going to be an LED. But let's hop into the third row really quick. You can pull this little lever here and a seat will tilt forward but getting back here in the third row really quick i'm going to sit behind the the bigger seating here which is the bench seating uh there's two cup holders here on the floor uh there's two usb ports back here as well hard touch plastic materials but the seats back here feel comfortable but these are jumper seats that they call them you can also tuck the seat belt underneath here so it won't be doing any clanging once you're driving but overall these seats back here are really reserved for kids because if i push the seat back i'm not going to have any foot room or any uh knee room because it's going to be on the seat back of the second row here but overall this uh seating back here is just reserved for kids so if you have small kids i think this would be a nice comfortable place for them to rest we're kicking off the driving impressions here in the glb this has the same motor that's in the gla this makes 221 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque it's paired a eight speed dual clutch transmission that replaces the seven speed dual clutch from the previous generation Fuel economy is rated at 23 in the city, 30 on the highway, 26 in by. So it gets really good fuel economy. My tester is the front wheel drive model, 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. So it's decent uh, 0 to 60 timing. If you want all wheel drive, Mercedes offers that for around 2,000 bucks. Honestly, I would just recommend getting that. 
but I stay in South Florida. We honestly, you honestly, you wouldn't really need front wheel drive. You stay in like a hot climate place, maybe in a cold weather state, then I would honestly recommend getting the all wheel drive system. But the GLB is, has a tra traditional boxy look. And honestly, I like the side profile. I like everything about this car, the way it looks. Full LED headlights are gonna be standard equipment. You have Mercedes Benz, uh, driver's assistance, which includes emergency braking, work force traffic alert, blind spot monitoring. So everything that you want in a small luxury car, Mercedes gives it to you. I like the cluster up here, which is the 10 and a half uh, MBUX system. I will honestly recommend getting that. It's part of a package because they charge you. Uh, they give you the seven inch, which is standard. And honestly, that thing is so small compared to this 10 and a half uh, display here. But this thing is really smooth. It glides along just fine. I like the uh, styling of the wheels that my tester has. Really nice wheels. The steering wheel has a nice grip to it. It's playful. Shady says they'll give you a third row option, but you cannot get this color combination. You have to go for a, a black interior, and they charge it. They're going to charge you 850 bucks for the third row. And honestly, the third row would just be reserved for kids because it's really small. My tester doesn't have a third row, but I've seen pictures and videos, and that thing is really small. So you wouldn't be able to fit to an over five foot six in that in the third row back there. But the GLB does have a really smooth ride quality. I don't hear a lot of uh, road noise from the GLB. It's a really quiet cabin as well. The seats in here are comfortable. Unfortunately, Mercedes charge you, uh, I think, 500 bucks or 750 for the cool seats, but they do give you heated seats as standard equipment. Visibility out of here is really good from the front. Big side mirrors here, like I mentioned, does have blind spot monitoring for collision warning. The engine here is, is really peppy. If you guys like to hear your turbos build up, this is a really good sound engine, fast shifting, eight speed dual clutch transmission. Like I showed you guys in the GLA, uh, maybe about a month or two ago, or about a month ago, it has this, this has the same engine, so it's really peppy. And like I mentioned, you wanna hear your turbos build up. This is a nice uh, sounding uh, sound coming from the turbos there. Hello? Hello. What's up, bro? Hello, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm filming right now, I'm driving the uh, Mercedes. I, I call you back. Spending time with the 2020 Mercedes-Benz GLB. My tester has the same motor that's in the GLA that I showed you guys about a month ago. This makes 221 horses and 258 pound-feet of torque. That's adequate power for most people in this segment. So how much does a GLB cost? Starting price for my tester is 36,600 bucks. This has some optional equipment which rolls in the denim blue exterior paint, which I highly recommend getting, which is $720. This has the MBUX uh, system, which is a 10 and a half inch uh, displays on both screens for the driver and then for the infotainment system, which I highly recommend getting because Mercedes gives you a standard seven inch screen, which is really small, like I mentioned in my GLA review, but I would highly recommend getting the 10 and a half inch display there. And, this, and my test also has the 19 inch uh, multi-spoke wheels here, which is part of a package as well. For all those options, my test tickets for $44,415. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Cutler Bay for providing me with the GLB. If you're in the market for a GLB, you can come to Mercedes-Benz of Cutler Bay and ask for Jack. He will get you to a new GLB. I hope you guys have enjoyed my full overview on the GLB. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at DriveOnReviews. And please keep subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you all in the next video.